I don't know, let's, let's make it very clear. I don't amend anything. I don't touch any of my FEC stuff. Right? 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 So don't be disingenuous and report that I did because you know that every campaign hires fiduciary. So I'm not aware of that answer. And we'll have an answer for the press regarding the amendment from yesterday. Well, what, 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 was the, what was the... So again, just a lot of questions remain about the money when it comes to Congressman George Santos. And really, that's also where for uh, the House Ethics Committee, where they're going to be asked to look into uh, his financial filings, his financial disclosures, Victor and Allison. Uh, where are the discrepancies here? Where did some of this funding come from? Those are the big questions uh, that a lot of people are asking right now. Jessica Dean, thank you so much. Let's bring in Alyssa Farrow Griffin. She's our CNN political commentator and former Trump White House communications director. And Ron Brownstein is a CNN political analyst for the C and senior editor for The Atlantic. George Santos is exhausting. And I guess that's the point, Alyssa. I mean, it's like we've, we, it all blurs together. I can barely keep track of the various lies. However, the campaign filings might be in a different category. One of the uh, watchdog groups that looks at these things, the Citizens for Responsible and Ethics, Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, says it could be that this is the single sloppiest bookkeeping of any candidate we've ever seen. It is the most confusing FEC filing I've ever seen. <laughs> this is in a different category, maybe. I mean, will there be repercussions for this one? So there will be. Um, yes, like there's it's not a crime to lie about your mom being killed on 9-11. Some of the horrific and just bizarre outright lies he's told. You're frankly allowed to lie in politics. People do it in Washington every day. You can't lie about campaign finance. Um, I think he knows that the clock is ticking on his time in Washington. Listen, he's going to run out his congressional seat until the next cycle. But the, F the, the FEC will catch up with him on this. This is not something that you can play fast and loose with saying you're contributing cam or loaning your campaign money when in reality you're not even showing where that money's coming from. This is where he's most likely to get.